everyone and welcome to my channel today we're gonna talk about this beautiful project that you are uh, picking here on my table and since uh, school is, st is about to start I decided to create this uh, lunchbox and uh, for my daughter and inside there is uh, um, a bunch of tags that she's gonna be sharing with her friends as a back-to-school uh, tag and for this beautiful lunchbox, I used one of my Eileen Hall's dies. It is the train case. I'm sorry I couldn't find the uh, the cover of the die, but I can tell you that this is an extra large die, so you need to use your extended pads. And uh, this is super cute. Look at this. This is the front, the top, the back and this is the bottom and it has a pretty nice size I love 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 this die and this lunchbox is just adorable so for the papers I used that we are memory keepers back to school collection that I've had in my stash for a very long time and then um, gluing all the paper to my box I use my distress ink in all the borders okay and then for this closure over here the handle and the hinges in the back that also are part of the die i uh, use my acrylic paint to color them and then on top i added this jemmy super beautiful okay and uh, i used paper board from a cereal box and i think this project is just adorable then in the front, if you see, I have this beautiful dolly, and this is a digital uh, stamp from Polka Doodles, and she's so cute and adorable, and I had to color her using my Prismacolor pencils, and I think she looks amazing. And over here, this flower that you see, it is because in the image, there is half of a flower, but I decided not to color the flower and instead create this beautiful uh, arrangement so for the greenery over here I used this Martha Stewart punch okay and then to create the flower I used two different uh, punches this one for this white center and this other one for the red layer okay and then I use my alcohol marker in yellow for the center of my flower over here and this other cluster that you see over here, these are uh, these leaves are made using one of my dyes, and then these beautiful roses I created them using one of my um, EK uh, Success paper punch, and uh, you know that I love making my own flowers, and that's what I did. And then I sugared them with my uh, glitter glue, and they look super adorable, and. Uh, these are not like traditional colors for flowers but since we are talking about back to school uh, i decided that i wanted to use the primary colors for the flowers and behind my doll i hope that you can see that i have a ruler and that is very easy to uh, do what i did is that i used this steam holes embossing folder that is called measure tape and then i trimmed if you see it has like uh, a lot of uh, pieces so I just trimmed one by one and then to color it I use my watercolor uh, paints and then I went around it with my distress ink the same one that I used all around my box okay so if you see over here in this closure and also in the hinges I used these beautiful jammies that I got at Michael's a couple of years ago and then for these parts i use my regular acrylic paint and i think it looks just adorable i have the same cluster of flowers over here uh, in the top part and then when you open it i also use some paper to cover all inside and out of my lunchbox and i have a set of four tags this is the inside of the box look at that super beautiful i love 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 this paper okay and my doll over here of course is mounted on foam tape because i wanted to give some dimension 
and when we are talking about the tags i'm going to talk to you about this pencil okay so look at the tags all of them are the same super beautiful and look at this to create my tag i used these nesting dies so i die cut two pieces in white cardstock and then this other die i used it uh, to create the layer and the layer you can hardly see it but it's here it's this paper that you see peeking over here and then i use my glitter pen to go all around uh, creating this uh, stitched border and i think it looks just adorable and i wanted to tie everything together and because of the um, yarn that, that I have here and the color in her shorts and also this flower, I thought that this uh, background was like too bright white and I uh, decided to use this uh, pen over here. I am also using one of the rulers, the same case like in the lunchbox, the same doll color in the same way. Uh, the same cluster of flowers over here and uh, then I use different pieces of ribbon and this yarn over here for the tassel on top and I think it looks super adorable okay let's talk about the pencil this pencil is handmade okay and uh, how I did it is that I used a wooden dowel and then I just used my regular acrylic paint using the uh, pencil number two colors and I think this looks super super adorable so my daughter will be able to keep the lunchbox and one of the tags and the other three are going to go to each one of her friends and uh, just with the intention that they are very happy and excited to go back to school and wishing them uh, a successful year and uh, yeah this is my back to school uh, project for today i really hope that you like it and if you do please give me a thumbs up also if you like to share my video with your friends i will appreciate that very much but in the meantime thank you very much for watching please take care of yourself remember to smile and see you very soon bye